Hi there, it's Amy from Cakes and Faces and today I've got a roundup video for you. Because it's so hot here at the moment, I thought it'd be fun to have a look at what special treats there are in Japan for this summer and they are mostly ice cream. Now, seasonal specialities are popular all year round in Japan and whenever you go, you're sure to find lots of special edition things and special flavors that are only around for a limited time. So here are some for this summer. Some of them are cute, some are unusual, and some of them just look delicious. I'm gonna try and spot some trends and see what's popular in Japan this summer. Even if we can't go there and try them right now, I still think it's fun to see what there is. Tell me in the comments which of them you'd most like to try. And there's new Japan videos on my channel every other Thursday if you wanna subscribe. And if you like my dress, my kawaii Hawaiian kawaiian dress, you can get it from cakeswithfaces.co.uk. To start us off, one of the main summer treats in Japan has always been kakigori, shaved ice. It's really light, fluffy and refreshing. And this summer you can get this super cute kakigori at an aquarium cafe in Shinjuku. It's just opened in Tokyo and it looks like a really interesting place. There's 10,000 tropical fish in a 20 meter long aquarium right next to you while you enjoy your kakigori. I think watching all the fish would have a really cooling, calming effect in the hot Japanese summer. And their kakigori are really cute. There's this polar bear one, there's a Shiba Inu kakigori, and I really like this blue one with all the sea creatures. Next, we all know Japan has the cutest donuts, and because it's all about the seasonal limited editions, this summer you can get these cute donuts with Sanrio character Pom Pom Purin and their friend Macaroon. Now, Macaroon is apparently also a golden retriever, but she really likes the look of poodles, so she's curled and styled her hair to look more like one. These are super cute and I just love the concept. The donut is the rubber ring. They're enjoying a day at the beach, about to get eaten. These are from Floresta, which is one of the shops that does the extra kawaii cat and animal donuts. All of them are just adorable. Next, Cafe de Paris is a new cafe in Tokyo that's originally from South Korea. They had a few pop-ups around Tokyo and they were so popular that now they've opened a permanent store. Their main item is what they call fruit bonbons. They're basically parfaits in a cup, loaded with fruit and whipped cream. There's strawberries, mango, pineapple. The grape one has a crown on the top. It certainly looks majestic. They also have these really cute smoothies with clouds in them. On their advertising, it's all about the fresh fruit and they seem to be selling them as healthy. Well, they do contain a lot of fruit as well as a lot of whipped cream. And they also have this chocolate brownie bonbon, which probably isn't at all healthy, but it does look good. They're also pretty pricey. The strawberry and mango ones are 1800 yen, although fruit is quite expensive in Japan. Next, Milk 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 is a store in La Forêt shopping mall in Harajuku that specializes in, can you guess, milk. I just love that name. Milk, milk, milk. They have these little milk bottles which are very photogenic and probably just for Instagram. This summer they've got some special editions with cinnamon roll, the Sanrio character. There's a milk pudding with a marshmallow cinnamon roll perched on top. And there's a parfait, which for some reason is served in a glass beaker like you get from a science lab. Is cinnamon roll a scientist? Continuing the science theme, there is actually a science of ice cream, in a way, at Deg Lab Soft Cream Laboratory in Osaka. They say they've studied the best concentrations of the different ingredients to make the best ice cream. They use 75% rich Hokkaido milk and they increase the air content to make it extra light and fluffy, which enables them to sculpt it into this. Science meets art and ice cream. There's various flavors, including a strawberry one that's 45% strawberry pulp. And for only 50 yen extra, you can add butterfly fairy wings, which obviously completely fits with the science theme concept. Baskin Robbins, which is called 31 Ice in Japan, has a Pokemon theme this summer. They've got mixed fruit ice cream cones with chocolate Pikachu heads and red popping candy like Pikachu's cheeks. There's also triple soda flavor, which is a mixture of cola, generic soda flavor, whatever that is, and melon soda. That sounds like quite a mixture. 
If you get it in a cup, you get one of these cute Pikachu spoons. You can also get ice cream in poker balls. How cute is that? There's a set of six and you can choose any flavor you like. And as if that wasn't cute enough, there's also these adorable ice cream cakes. There's Pikachu and Eevee. Just for this summer, you can get Pikachu ice lollies at the Pokemon Center in Ikebukuro in Tokyo. And there's also this chocolate banana frappe with a Pikachu tail. Now I think I'm seeing a trend for banana flavoured things in Japan. I don't know about elsewhere in the world, but here in the UK, banana flavour isn't really that popular. You get banana milkshakes sometimes, but not really that much else. But I've seen quite a few things in Japan, particularly this year, and especially lots of chocolate banana flavour. And this past year or two, there's also been a lot of mint chocolate flavoured things as well. There's even a banana juice bar in Ginza, which is quite an upmarket area of Tokyo. Now bananas don't seem all that juicy, so I think they're more like smoothies or milkshakes. They serve different varieties of banana juice, and that's all they have. Just banana juice, nothing else. Each day, the shops only open until they run out of bananas, just like those ramen shops that are open until they run out of broth. And they're all about quality. If the bananas aren't ripe enough to make good juice, they don't open at all. So far, some of these have been quite pricey ice creams from expensive, trendy cafes, but you can also get great ice creams from the convenience store. And ice cream is one of the things you can't bring back with you, so all the more excuse to try them while you're there. You can get this creme brulee ice cream, like the dessert. It's crispy caramelized brown sugar over a custard type pudding. Patina are the giant pocky of the ice cream world, and they're made by the same company. They're ice lolly or ice cream sticks in different shapes. They look really cute. There's stars, hearts, and flowers. And of course, there's those ice creams that look like perfect soft serve swirly ice creams, but in a packet. I don't know how they keep the shape so perfect. Next, haagen is going more traditional Japanese with its special flavor for this summer. Honey potato. It's actually sweet potato or emo in Japanese. It's actually not that strange a combination. Sometimes sweet potatoes are cooked in honey. They're known as daigaku imo, which is university potatoes because they used to be a student food. Now, sweet potato is usually more of an autumn flavor. When it starts to get colder, you can get baked sweet potato from food trucks and stalls, unless you're in Okinawa where they eat them all year round. And it's quite a major part of the diet. So now we've got sweet potato as a summer version, as an ice cream. Finally, 17 ice cream is a brand of ice cream you can only buy from vending machines. And I have seen these around in Japan. You might think the 17 in the name comes from the number of flavors, like Baskin Robbins 31, a flavor for every day of the month. But the 17 actually comes from the age of their target audience. When they first started in the 80s, ice cream was seen as a thing that's just for kids in Japan. But they wanted to make ice cream for everyone, for teenagers and adults as well. And that's why they put it in vending machines and made it available everywhere. They've also got that chocolate banana flavor. There's some Japanese flavors like matcha green tea. And they've also got some other interesting flavors. Grape sorbet, that one sounds good. Raisin butter crunch and macadamia nut. They also have these monaka, which is a thing you see around sometimes. It's ice cream covered in wafer. Now in Japan, when you eat ice cream, you're supposed to bite it. So I guess monaka are better for that. And they're also less messy. Now I'm gonna finish there. It's way too hot today to be filming inside with all the windows shut and all these lights on. So I hope you've enjoyed this roundup of summer treats and ice creams in Japan. Hopefully it won't be too long before we can all travel again and try them for ourselves. Tell me in the comments which of them you'd most like to try. And I'll see you not next week, but the week after. Bye bye.